-hmm. All right, so getting a word list might be an easy task for those who know how to maneuver around the internet, but spending long hours waiting for it to be processed and risking that the password might not be there can cause some concerns, as you can probably yeah. imagine. Mm -hmm. Now, an alternative way to connect to an AP is by using WPS. WPS allows devices to connect without using a WPA or WPA2 password. WPS has been found vulnerable to attacks. A tool like Reaver can obtain the password from WPS enabled devices. Yeah, and Reaver can try to brute force WPS enabled devices by associating with the AP and trying different pins. Reaver cannot hack all APs with the WPS enabled. It really depends on the AP configuration. If the AP is configured to lock the pin, Reaver can't do anything for that. Newer APs have timeouts for WPS sessions, meaning they will drop the connection with Reaver after a certain amount of time, like, I don't know, 60 seconds. Right. In this case, you are stuck. Yeah. Reaver is still a good proof of concept that WPS is vulnerable and a feature tool can bypass the few security measures taken for WPS.